you know, you show people how beautiful they are, how many different species we have, the beautiful colours, then the more interest you get in those species and therefore people then want to protect them. I'm Esther Hughes, I'm the site lead for the Fowl and Halford SAC for Natural England. We're on the upper shore zone and I'm going to talk to you today about what you can find here. So we've got three types of rack here. We've got serrated rack, egg rack and bladder rack. So if you look at them quickly, they do all look the same. But once you get your eye in, you can see they've got quite distinctive features. Here we've got serrated rack or toothed rack and this is a really easy one because the edges are serrated just like little teeth. Then you've got bladder rack which has lots of bladders on. What you're looking out for is um, paired bladders either side of the midrib on the frond. And then you have egg rack which also has bladders but not paired. You've just got one single bladder across the entire frond at several stages and you can actually age a piece of egg rack by counting the number of eggs because it produces an egg each year. So this one is approximately three years old. So here we've got some a green seaweed called sea lettuce. Really distinctive species. It's kind of big and flat and slightly like wavy on the edges. Looks just like a bit of lettuce really. And then we've got pepper dulse along here and this is another red algae. You can see it's like flattened throughout and it has a little branching pattern which makes it look just a bit like a fern. And this is quite often growing on the sides of rocks and another sort of distinctive feature of this is it tastes a bit sort of garlicky peppery, hence named pepper dulse. And we've got a couple of different species to look at here. So coral weed is another red algae just has a really pretty sort of lightish pink to white colour to it. It has a main midrib and then lots of opposite um, branching to it right to the top and it forms this kind of almost diamond shape. Then we've got the pink encrusting algae which is covering the entire um, bottom of this rock pool and it gives the rock pool just a lovely um, pink colour and then you've got the red algae on top of that giving lovely contrast. Another species you'll find on the lower shore called bunny ears. It's made up of sort of segments and right at the top you can see where its name comes from. And it looks like two little ears. This is all weed. It starts cylindrically at the base and as you go up to the top of the frond it flattens out and then turns into this kind of palm sort of shaped hand like frond. Lots of chondrus crispus here which is Irish moss so if you brushed your teeth this morning you will have brushed your teeth most likely with the um, extract of chondrus crispus. So this is a non-native species which has recently arrived in the Fallon Halford. The common name is devil's tongue weed. It's really slippery when you touch it so that's one of the identifying features is as soon as you touch it it's so slippery but it doesn't leave any mucus on your skin and then you've got the very very smooth but frilly edge. This is quite an unusual looking brown algae this is another non-native species and it basically looks like a little balloon it's filled with air and it grows in amongst the red algae on the rock from sort of mid to low shore and yeah just the key feature is that it's a air filled sac. Colpomenia peregrina. This bit of bladder rack here has been almost entirely covered from the base and it's kind of creeping up the, the uh, fronds here with this non-native species pom-pom weed. Um, and as you can see the name has been chosen because it's very three-dimensional in its, in its branching and that causes it to make it look like little sort of clumps, little pom-poms. This is a non-native species of brown algae called Japanese wireweed. So its scientific name is Sargassum muticum. It's quite distinctive in that it has all these tiny little spherical air bladders and sort of leaf-like fronds all the way along in sort of little clusters. As it grows larger and larger because it's got the air bladders for anything growing underneath this such as the sort of smaller like native red algae 
can be sort of shaded from light.